Born with. And that's a relief to children. Because it's not like they can't feel the tension. They're young, but they're not stupid. So, yeah. I'd like to be honest with this one. I have a terrible memory. If I only leave here remembering one thing, what should it be? Probably your, your husband or your wife. <laughs> <laughs> what should you leave here remembering if you only remember one thing? Well, the, the theme was to be grateful in spite of your suffering. And that's, that, that would be a good thing to remember and to practice. You know, and hopefully I provided enough context to that rather cliché injunction so that it took on some life, you know. And I guess the corollary that, maybe this is two things, so now I've doubled the complexity, but um, that that gratitude, maybe, maybe it's that gratitude is a form of courage. If that was the one thing you had to remember, that would be it. Gratitude is a form of courage. That's a useful thing to know. Because you might think, what the hell do I have to be grateful for? And, you know, probably think that like once a week, or, or certainly once a year, that's for sure. But then if you remember, oh yes, well gratitude is a form of courage, then you don't ask what you have to be grateful for, you ask why, how it might be that you could be courageous enough to be grateful. And that, that, that would be, that's a good thing, I think, if you could do that. So that's what you could remember. So, How do you allow yourself to wind down after engaging your mind with all of these topics? I'm not so sure there's a lot of winding down. <laughs> uh, it's funny, I was just kind of thinking that um, just before the question was asked. Um, well, what's useful for me is to, what's been most useful for me, especially over the last two years, which have been very hectic, and, and what, and adventurous and uncertain, what's been most useful to me is to actually talk to my family, I would say. And my family first, and then my friends, but, so, you know, I talk to my daughter and my son pretty much every day, and my wife travels with me. And for the longest time, um, while I was doing these lectures, I made a ritual of calling my parents. And I just talked to them for 10 minutes before the lectures. I didn't do that tonight, but I've done it, I would think, about 80 of the last 100 shows. And so, those touchstones have been very helpful to me. There's a certain amount of isolation that I've been, that has come along with this notoriety, I suppose, and it's made the family connections and the friendships that I have more important. And I also realized a while back, it was like a revelation in some sense, that you don't have to do a good thing by yourself. You, you know, it's actually fine, proper to include as many other people as want to be and can be included in it. And so, if I have an opportunity to talk to my daughter or my son or my wife or my parents or my friends for that matter about what's going on, then that's, there's no, there's no negative, there's nothing negative about that. I mean, it is up to everybody to redeem the world, I think. I believe that to be the case. But, paradoxically enough, that doesn't mean that you have to do it alone. And it isn't obvious how those two things can go together, because it's your duty, but it's not your duty. It's your duty, and it's truly yours. But it's also, it's also everyone else's duty. That goes along with this, there's an age-old idea, you know, that each of us, in some sense, is the center of being, because we're conscious creatures. 
reach the center of reality. And I believe that that's the case. It's reality is constituted so that each of us is the center. And so that means it's on you. But it's on you in a way that is also true of everyone else. And so, so one of the things that, gives, that provides relief, let's say, is having those close connections. And that would be the most effective uh, medication for winding down. Yeah. And well, I hope you guys found some of those connections here tonight. And on that note, I'm going to get out of the way and make some noise for the good doctor, George Peterson, everybody.